the final take home that I had from the conference was that I truly believe that this type of technology with how robust and how um, how much resources are being put into it, how spectacular it is. Um, be- because really, when you think about animal agriculture and the, the types of technology that we get to utilize, we're usually at the mercy of academic institutions and larger organizations like pharmaceutical companies, which are so incredibly slow to move, right? The thing that fascinates me so much about this space is how quick and and smart and innovative these types of companies can be when when it's the private sector doing something. I love uh, like like I love all things capitalism. Uh, I I love how nimble capitalism is, and, and to me, this feels like a, a new wave of technology coming into animal agriculture that is purely based on this this ca- this nimbleness that that capital capitalism provides so so i love that i love all of these new things that we could potentially utilize with these really aggressive companies but i believe after after the conference that that we in animal agriculture need this technology in order for us to be sustainable and to survive and on the flip side i believe that cellular agriculture needs animal agriculture in order to bankroll all of the research and development they need to do before they can really get to that end goal that consumer facing product so together i think it is is nothing but upside the only people i believe that are going to lose are the hopscotchers the ones that completely discredit agriculture and animal agriculture altogether from a conventional sense and just want to to go past us and to go over us uh without this development of technology in between i think that's it's too early stage for that the the company that wins is going to be this this amazing uh problem solver creating these amazing solutions within conventional agriculture and then they're just going to step that next little step into uh into the human market